In this video, I'm gonna be talking about my online coaching and consulting experience and how I make over 100K per month. So in my opinion, this is the best business model that you could do, and I'm gonna explain why I think that later on down the line. And this is something that I've wanted to talk about for a while, and I'm gonna be going over five of my secrets for how to make 100K per month with online coaching and consulting. But before I get into that, I'm also gonna be doing a live workshop exactly 72 hours after this video is posted. So the date and time should be down in the comment section as well as the pinned comment below. So definitely check that out. And all the information will be down there as well. You just have to click on the link. And this is going to be a live session where I present to you. And then at the end, you get to ask me any questions you have about online coaching and consulting. So it should be really awesome. Can't wait to see people there and basically just share all of my knowledge about this. If for whatever reason you have to miss it because you're working or something, or you just see this video after the date that we did the workshop, you can still access the recordings by clicking the link down in the description below as well. But of course, you won't be able to attend the live workshop. But let's get into why this is the best business model. So everybody has a natural instinct to teach other people what they know. Like a bantha. For hundreds of thousands of years in human evolution, a father, let's say he was a fisherman, for instance, would teach his son how to fish, and then the son would teach his son how to fish, and then his son, and then his son, and then his son. And that's how human evolution worked for thousands of years. And then same thing with the mothers. So we all have this natural feeling inside of us where we really enjoy teaching other people things that we're skilled at. We get a lot of natural satisfaction out of doing that. Let's rock! And this is why you see a bunch of CEOs when they retire and they have tons of money oh, still doing oh consulting God. and coaching on the yeah, side. Yeah. The money isn't even a concern to them. It doesn't even matter to them, yet they still do coaching and consulting. And the reason for that is because it's very enjoyable to teach people a thing that you are an expert at. And it's also really fun and rewarding to see people you know, in a state where they have a problem and then you help them with the problem and they're able to overcome it. Am I ready? No. And on top of this, you can make a ton of money with online coaching and consulting, and it's a great way to get people results. So yes, you can do a course and just automate it and all that sort of thing. I've made courses before myself, but the truth is most people don't get results from courses. Of course, you can get people results if you teach something very simple, like how to use Excel or something like that. But if you're trying to get somebody a job or help them start a business or something that's more complex, it's definitely easier to get them results if you do a consulting or a coaching process. Program. And I've seen many people who actually end up taking a pay cut when they're doing a service-based business or something along those lines to do coaching and consulting because they truly just enjoy it a lot more. Wait, really? And it's also a lot less stressful than many types of business models out there. But if you do it the right way, you can actually make just as much money as well. And that's what I'm gonna be talking about in the rest of this video. So let's talk about how to get traffic. So the way selling these types of products goes is first of all, you need to get traffic, then you need to get leads, and then you need to convert those leads into customers. So like with any business, the first thing you want to solve is whatever your first bottleneck is. And whenever you're trying to solve a bottleneck, you look at what happens at the beginning. So you start off with traffic. And very simply, my recommendation for getting traffic is to make content. Making content is like a freaking cheat code. And I know a lot of coaches out there on the internet are going to tell you that you should do paid ads or you should do cold outbound or you should maybe cold call people. And for certain types of business models, that does work well. But in terms of the time that you have to put in and the return on investment that you get, nothing beats making content and building a personal brand. In fact, a lot of those coaches that are teaching you to do paid ads or they're teaching you to do cold outbound are actually getting most of their sales from from organic content. They've all been lying to us this whole time. And you might think, oh, you have to be an expert to make content or you have to be this or you have to be that. Well, if you're not an expert, you can actually just position yourself as somebody who is learning, right? You're in the process of learning this thing and people will really like that because they're probably, you know, a few steps behind you. And so they'll relate to you a lot more than someone who's been an expert for like 10 or 15 years. But if you're an expert, making content is a great idea as well. You'll just position yourself as an authority instead. And even with a tiny channel, you can make make a ton of money doing this. So as an example, Serge Guitari was making over $300,000 a month with a YouTube channel that had less than 5,000 subscribers. Impossible. 
And by the way, YouTube, in my opinion, is the easiest way to start making content and start making money. YouTube is the platform where people really get to know you and really get to feel like they have a connection with you. And so they're much more likely to buy your products. So I know people who have been doing like cold outbound for three years and they're still struggling to make three to $5,000 per month. In fact, a lot of them will go down to making like less than $1,000 a month because they only have one client. So instead of taking those three years to do things that just only benefit you for a short period of time, take that time and make content instead. And three years later down the line, you're probably going to be making 30, 50, $100,000 a month instead. Damn, dude. And I remember when I started to do my coaching business, I was doing cold outreach and all this crazy marketing stuff. And I was basically helping people get like in demand jobs and almost nobody would get on the phone with you. And of the people who do get on the phone with you, they're very skeptical. Whereas the leads you get from organic social media marketing, like for instance, YouTube, they get on the phone with you and they're already ready to buy. We'll take the lot. Right, they're basically just like, how much is it and when can I get started? So I highly recommend just starting to make content. Do it. You can make a full-time income on YouTube without even having a thousand subscribers. So with a tiny channel, you can make a ton of money and with a bigger channel, you can make an absolute killing. Plus it just keeps growing and it grows your brand and your reputation. And on top of that, when you do other types of prospecting methods like cold outreach or you're doing paid ads, people are gonna look you up online and they're gonna be much more likely to buy from you because they're going to see that you have a personal brand. You have an online presence. So now you've gotten traffic. Let's talk about how to get leads. And in order to know how to get leads, you need to know what a lead is. So a lead is basically someone that you can contact. Now, a good lead is going to be someone that you can contact that's interested in your product or services. Just answer the phone. Now you might be confused right now because you might be thinking, Shane, why don't I just advertise my product directly on my channel? And that's okay to do as long as you don't do it all the time. Because if you're constantly selling your product on your channel, people are going to get really annoyed by it and they're gonna stop watching you. And they've actually extensively studied this, like how often you should sell versus giving value. And it kind of depends on which platform you're on, but usually it's okay to sell directly on your channel one out of every six uploads approximately. All of your other uploads, you should be pushing them towards your lead magnet. Now, what exactly is a lead magnet? Well, that's how you get leads. And basically you're going to give really good stuff away, stuff that solves the problems that they have completely free. Huh? And in exchange for that, you get their email. And from their email, you can sell them your products. All right. That makes sense. Now, and additionally to getting their email and giving them the lead magnet, I also recommend using the same process to get them into some kind of group. So you could use a Facebook group, a discord group, or my personal favorite is a school group. Now school does cost $100 a month, so it's very expensive, but it's a better overall experience for both me as well as the people who are in the group. And by the way, I'm kind of guesstimating this, but I've done a lot of experiments and I've also asked my friends about this and doing lead magnets versus directly selling on your channel is probably going to 3x your sales at least. So you're going to make three times more money by simply just giving more value and not selling directly on your channel. So it's pretty much a win-win-win for everyone involved. And as Alex Hormozzi says, you want to basically give all of the information away for free and then sell the implementation. So anything that you can just make one time and then it's just automated forever, you want to try to give that away for free. But anything that actually requires your time on a day to day basis ongoing, you want to sell that. Right. So things like coaching and consulting, things like implementing a system into somebody else's business or if you're working for one of your customers. Right. Give all the information away for free and sell the implementation. And by the way, once you get them on your email list, you don't want to just blast them with offers. You want to provide a lot of value on there as well. And then kind of just mention at the end of your emails, by the way, if you'd like help with coaching and consulting or you just want to do this faster, I do have a coaching program. And same thing with the groups when you get people inside of there. Give as much information away as possible. Give as much value value as possible. And then just mention that if they need extra help or they want to do it faster, you're there for them. Now let's talk about how to convert those leads into customers. So you've got a bunch of people in your group. You've got a bunch of people on your email list. How do you actually get those people to buy your stuff? Well, you can sell a lower ticket product directly in the group or on the email list. Basically just give them an offer, maybe offer them a discount, do an email sequence where you explain what you're going to be doing inside of the product. And that can work really well. And you can do this for your own products, or you can do it with an affiliate product. So I really like working with other affiliates in my niche because of the fact that I kind of talk about general like remote jobs and careers. And it makes a lot more sense for me to just partner with people who are already getting great results in a specific type of career 
rather than me trying to make that course. Because the truth is there's no one career that's gonna be good for everyone. Different careers are good for different personality types. And the great thing about a lower ticket product, we're talking something like a thousand dollars or less, is that you can really automate that whole process. You don't have to have anybody who's like a coach. You don't have to spend any of your own time. And that whole process can just be mostly automated. With higher ticket products, you're gonna have to hire a bunch of people. You're gonna have to have an infrastructure in place. And chances are you are gonna be spending a good amount of your own time working with the people. But like I said before, higher ticket coaching and consulting programs are gonna get people way better results. And by the way, higher ticket is typically like $2,000 and above. Now, if you're selling a high ticket coaching program, typically you are gonna have to get people on the phone in order to sell them. Whereas if you're selling a lower ticket digital product, you can usually just make a webinar or some kind of video sales letter and explain the benefits of the product there. Or in some cases, you can just have a landing page and you can just sell directly on there. They don't have to talk to any human beings. <laughs> And again, all of that can be automated. But with a higher ticket coaching program, you're typically going to have to hire two different types of people, appointment setters and closers. Appointment setters are gonna be the people who actually talk to leads and see if they're qualified for the product and see if they're a good fit to get on the phone with the closer, right? So they're just making sure that this person is actually gonna be able to get results with the program. They're making sure that they're the right type of customer and they're making sure that they're not wasting their time getting them on the phone with the closer. Then the closer is the person who kind of explains everything about the program program. A lot of the time they'll give the person a personalized consultation. And then at the end, they will try to sell the person on the product. Now, at first you can do this yourself, but chances are, especially when you get a lot of customers in, this is going to be a lot of work and you're going to want to hire people. Now, like I said, high ticket products, you can make a lot more money with them, but they're also a lot more work. And they're also just more difficult to set up when it comes to the infrastructure. So when you're deciding whether you should do a high ticket program or you should just do an automated course, really, you just want to think which one is going to get your customers the best results. If you're helping people with a problem that's pretty easy to solve and you can solve that problem with a course, then you probably just want to do a course. And if you're helping people with a problem that's much more difficult to solve and it's going to require a lot more hands-on teaching, feedback, you know, they're going to have them do assignments and you're going to grade them, all that sort of thing, then you probably want to do coaching or consulting. Now let's talk about why creating content is a freaking cheat code. So I kind of went over this already a little bit, but anybody who has a YouTube channel that sells high ticket coaching will tell you the leads they get from their YouTube channel are like 10 times better than the leads they get from other sources. So leads from cold calling or cold email or cold outreach on social media or even paid ads, those leads are not nearly as good as the leads they get from their YouTube channel. When people book calls from the leads they get from YouTube, they actually show up to the calls. And when they show up to the calls, the closing rates go way up. I know people that have you know high ticket coaching programs that are only closing like five to 10% of their calls. And that's because most of their leads come from paid ads or cold outreach. And they have a terrible show up rate. So a lot of the people who book the calls never end up even showing up to the call itself. Plus your closers don't need to be anywhere near as skilled because when the person shows up to the call, they're already ready to buy. And this means it's going to be much easier keeping the good salespeople on your team. This is another massive problem that people who have high ticket coaching programs have is they'll put in all the work to train a good salesperson. And then that person will just leave whenever they get a slightly better opportunity. And a lot of the time it's because that salesperson is taking on really crappy leads. But if they're getting tons of really good leads, they're not gonna leave your business. Then when the people actually take your coaching program, they're gonna trust you more and they're gonna really buy into your message and they're really gonna try to make it work. So this is a massive problem that a lot of the information marketing industry has is people will buy the programs and you can actually look to see how much of the content that they've digested. And you can also look to see if they've done the assignments or not. And a lot of the time people will only do like five to 10% of the assignments and then they just give up. So if people have been watching you on YouTube, they've really bought into your message, they really trust you, they're gonna be much more likely to actually finish the program and therefore much more likely to get results. And then when they're much more likely to get results, they're much more likely to give you testimonials. And they're also more likely to give you testimonials because they feel like they know you and they watched you on YouTube. And then of course, more people are likely to buy your product because you have a bunch of testimonials. So it's kind of a circular cycle. It's like a flywheel that keeps making your business better and better. Oh, and did I mention you're also gonna have way less refund requests as well. I could refund my refund request. So basically it makes every single aspect of your business easier 
if you have an organic content presence. And YouTube, in my opinion, is the absolute best when it comes to this. And like I said before, I will be doing a one day workshop where I really dive deep on each one of these topics and I reveal all my secrets, all of what I've learned. And that's going to be exactly 72 hours after this video post. So check the time and date down in the description in the pinned comment below. And then you can click the link to get the details and check it out. And keep in mind that if you miss it for whatever reason, you of course will not be able to attend the live session, but you will still get the recordings if you sign up with the link below. And I tried to make it as affordable as possible. Of course, this is going to take a lot of my time and effort. I have to make the slides and I have to do the presentation. I'm probably going to be there like two or three hours, but I tried to make it as affordable as possible so that anybody who wants to ask me questions or get taught my secrets can afford it. Now, if you like this video, check out this other video where I talk about seven side hustles that almost nobody talks about, and you can check it out by clicking right here.